Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we'll be talking about atrophy. So the basic definition of atrophy is partial or complete wastage of a tissue or organ and that's due to the degeneration of the cells. There's different types of atrophy. So we can have physiological atrophy, pathological, local and disuse. So physiological atrophy is when you have certain structures which are well developed and they are required at certain times or stages in life but then later on they're not needed so they'll break down and wither. An example of this is the loss of ductus arteriosus in the fetus. This is one type of atrophy. We also have pathological atrophy where the cause is due to some form of pathology so uh, an example can be the shrinkage of the brain with aging. Local atrophy is another type where we have um, either asymmetric or segmental atrophy and it's most often due to lack of blood flow. So we have atrophy in a certain region of the body and it's often due to poor circulation. Disuse atrophy is where we have degeneration of cells in an organ when it is not being used. So what happens during atrophy? So the size of the cells will decrease due to lower rates of metabolism and decreased protein synthesis. And atrophic, and atrophic cells have less structural proteins, fewer mitochondria and less endoplasmic reticulum. And also the cells are generally more likely to undergo apoptosis. The causes of atrophy are, are various, but these are the main causes here. So decreased workload, poor nourishment, poor circulation, some form of mutation, loss of hormonal support, loss of nerve supply and disuse. And lastly we're going to talk about cachexia which I'm also going to make a separate video on because it is a large topic but I thought I would uh, briefly mention it here. It's also known as wasting syndrome and it can happen in a variety of different diseases but the symptoms are usually the same so it's weight loss, muscle atrophy, fatigue, weakness, loss of appetite and the key thing that you need to understand to um, identify this syndrome is even though the patient is losing body mass if you feed them more or increase their nutritional intake the loss of body mass will still occur so this is a key indicator of cachexia or wasting syndrome that um, it's currently occurring and it's more likely if the patient has one of these conditions here as well so a patient with cancer a patient with AIDS, uh, people affected with celiac disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder, those with congestive heart failure and multiple sclerosis.